Uvalde Radio. Uvalde Radio.net, Robert Miguel live at Uvalde Street, 301 North Getty Street for the Uvalde Cabinetry Classic Car Show. We got classic cars, muscle cars. Apparently, there's Frito Pie and maybe some hot dogs over there, too. So, you know what? Come on out here and enjoy all the sights. And we're getting ready to hear some sounds from Natalie Rose, uh, who you just heard right there called Blame It on the Wine. I don't think she's doing, she said she wasn't going to do that one today, so I'm glad we played it on the radio. But you're here, you'll hear Natalie and John performing from 1 to 3 p.m. here at Uvalde Cabinetry. And uh, come out and see us. Our live broadcast brought to you by, of course, Uvalde Cabinetry, also Back Ranch Bunkhouse, uh, Luigi's Italian Restaurant, and the Blinged Bucks, the neighborhood uh, stores and restaurants right here in Uvalde. So also playing at the Uvalde Honey Festival on the big stage, where the big boys are. Big stage. We got the Will Rhodes Band right Hell here. Y'all make yeah. some noise yourselves. All right, so Will's Clap for yourself. Bro. Front and center there. Good to see you, sir. Wearing a cool hat. You got the guys behind you. Now, are you guys a three-piece or are we missing somebody? We got He's the... He's hiding back there. Oh. Is he back there? How in the world? <laughs> Can that man Eric Hughes, that large which, slice of human which back one, there. Which one's back there? Which one's yeah, this is Eric Hughes. Hughes. Is, he, is he the drummer? The lead guitarist. Lead guitarist? Yeah, oh, vocalist. That should be an extrovert, bro. Yeah. Hey, save, save it for the stage, right? Yeah, big time. <laughs> so, Will, man, um, how many have you been, been to Uvalde before? What's going on First here? time First Uvalde time. comer to right here. So, uh, where, where are you guys based out of? We are based out of basically my rhythm section hails out of East Bernard, Texas, which is about 60 miles west of Houston. And, and the mother load, my guitar player, Eric Hughes, and myself, we're in the Corpus Christi vicinity. Eric lives in Victoria, but we both grew up in Corpus Christi. You guys look like you got, could all be some beach bum types, you know? Not even, <laughs> man. We're reckless. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, you're, you're quite a bit away from home. A yeah. bit. I mean, yeah. three hours, it's, it's not too much of a stretch. I oh, mean, yeah, I, I guess that coming west to east or, or is a little faster because you don't get all that traffic that you know, I had none I was on yeah. some back roads and uh, yeah. I, I was digging it that's cool cool so so what's your impression of Uvalde so far first I time love in? it man yeah. we're rolling up we got the SS we got the Camaros vintage <laughs> going uh, I got my DJ homie here who put us in the mix uh, with our on the men single and uh, everybody's really friendly and there is Chili cheese dogs over there. <laughs> Chili in the cheese corner. dogs over there. Yeah, Got a lot of great food on the plaza as well. And uh, yeah, these classic cars are kind of. I got a kind of a cool view right here, right? You do. Just kind of looking at these nice cars. Oh, and I, uh, I thought he was talking about Natalie. My Nat bad. Natalie is right there, and John as well too. So yes, of course, they're very beautiful, both of them. And you guys are, are, are an interesting looking uh, group of guys here. If interesting means handsome, I handsome. totally agree. <laughs> You know, I, I'm just, I'm a straight guy. I kind of wanted to put it out there that you guys mm. are looking good. I appreciate but that. But I didn't I want to go too far more. that way. I mean, it's Pride Month and all. You could go as far didn't as you want. Didn't want anybody to get confused. We, well, we take it, we take it all as love. So, so Will, tell me about the band. How long have you guys been together? What's your backstory? Well, you know, it's kind of like a marriage. Who knows the actual time frame, but it feels like an eternity. Uh, if that's your marriage, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, we've been playing together now for, I believe it's about three years, but, you know, we got some dedicated individuals in this band, so uh, our sound is definitely one that you know sounds like we've been playing our whole lives together so for those who haven't heard you yet describe your sound what would you how would you uh well uh, two words come to mind it's a very elite uh, genre called kick ass <laughs> but um if i had to describe it you know we're kind of like that outlaw americana we definitely got a lot of rock we got we have a little saying we're the perfect uh perfect rock band for your country club and the perfect you know country band for your rock club but we uh we mix it all up and together our influences span uh music itself but i'd say kind of an outlaw americana southern rock vibe um it's it's kick-ass melodies with kick-ass musicians but there are words to be heard uh because i mean who hasn't fallen in love with a hooker at some point in their life I have to raise my hand. Yeah, that's no. <laughs> uh, well, we we found one here. So, uh, uh, so will the uh, as far as. Uh the music goes. I mean, you're, you're the you're the guy. You're the namesake. Will Rose Band. Yeah. So are are you the the primary writer, leader of the band kind of guy, or or how much of a of a I guess of a team, team effort, effort is, is this whole thing? Well, yeah. first of all, it is it's 100 percent team effort. I I have had a lot of these songs written, but. They're basically, you know, written as kind of this open canvas, and then I bring them to these, you know, genius musical minds with my drummer and bass player and, and guitar player, and, and we really fine-tune these arrangements and melodies, and I'm, I'm golden with taking stuff out. I'm golden with changing the arrangements, which we have to make them really tight and really, uh, uh, really compelling. 
Um, it's just when we want to change words, which we never even had to really get there, but they've helped me a lot with, you know, trimming stuff up, leaning mm -hmm. it up, keeping it interesting, and keeping it under that magic number of three minutes and 30 seconds. That's what she said. I mean, yeah. he said. Well, uh, hey, let's get the other guys on the yeah, mic here. Come, come up here real quick. Tell us I'm your name and what man. you do in the band. Yeah. This is my man. Mr. Anderson, respectfully on base. <laughs> Mr. Anderson on base. So, man, uh, so oh, yeah. you've been with, have you guys all kind of been around the same time, three years? Um, I've been with Les. Okay. Uh, it's been about a year for me. Okay. Yeah. And what what brought you to the band? Was it like uh, answering an ad, you know, on social media? Was it, I mean, what did you know uh, the guys nothing. from the scene or what? Um, I oh, kind of. Really, really, I. You come on over here too. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, we, Playing with the guys originally and, and, and working on some tunes and and we we needed the bass player. And, and what's your name again? Thomas. Thomas and you play the drums. Thomas the drummer, okay. Drums and, and, and percussion and background. Thomas vocals. Fuchik on yes. drums. Yes, awesome. But uh, we started jamming a little bit and, and needed a bass player and I was like, well, I, I knew of a bass player I've been playing. And let's with. be honest, the drummer should pick the bass player, right? Well, not necessarily. I mean, I'm just it, saying, it just I mean, you, you guys have to have your thing, though. I mean, you guys... As long as they're picking me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so it's good, man. So, but, so you guys already knew. You already knew each other. Right, we, we've been playing in other bands. What was this? So you played with him in another band where you're like, okay, cool. Yeah, we, our, our other guy went. This guy stepped in. Right on. And it's no looking back. Back. And uh, so, how, how are you digging it so far? Uh -oh. you, you're the newest member. Yeah, I would be the newest member. What What's been the hardest thing to adjust to, and what's been the most fun thing to uh, adjust to? Actually, there's not really been anything hard to adjust to. Right. You just slid right He's in. Piece, just like that, huh? All right. <laughs> I played some notes, made Will cry. He liked it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He, he took this one chorus in a different direction, and with one note, and I looked at him, I said, you're hired. That's awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's an impact. Very good. So, and then other than that, man, just, just feeling good about it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Where, where, are you guys, where are you guys gigging, man? Were you guys getting around pretty good regionally, uh, uh, making the rounds, or you kind of sticking in, in that Houston area? Um, well, Corpus, Austin, Austin area, area. Okay. Victoria. Uh, around there, there. So, question for all you guys: you guys, you got us a new song on the men. We're gonna play it here in a few. Uh, what's the, uh, what's going on with new music? And uh, are you guys pushing it to radio? And do what's the story with, with the yeah, recordings? Yeah, we've got a new album coming out okay. actually next Friday. Nice. Um, Based on the Hookers and Heartache album, baby, and you can dig that. <laughs> Hookers and Heartache, I love it. It's all, right. all based on uh, Will's. Uh, Will. Will's inspirations. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so lyrically, Will, what, where, where does this uh, journey lyrically take it's, us? It's about that contrast between what the heart loves and what it shouldn't love. It's about, uh, basically, we're all lunatics out there, so it's a level playing field. So be yourself and find a way to love yourself and others, and life is way too short to hold any grudges, y'all. Come on. I, I think that David Lee Roth is really dead and was reincarnated in, inside Will Rhodes over here. <laughs> because you, you, I, I feel like I'm interviewing, you know, David Lee Roth, like, circa 88, something like that, so this is great uh, stuff. Yeah. I'm taking that as a <laughs> No, I'm like, and I mean it as such. Uh, yeah. Man, there's not enough rock stars in the world anymore, man. That's great. I love that album. Oh, it's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. So so again, we got the Will Rhodes Band here. They're performing today at the Valley Honey Festival. What time are you guys going on, man? We're going on 3 p.m. 3 p.m. All right, so you can catch Natalie Rose right here, right now, and then they swing right over there, walk two blocks to your south, and go catch uh, Will Rhodes Band, right? You will not regret it. And here at the Will Rhodes Band, we have a saying that it smells good, and it's going to smell real good out there today. Very, it's going to smell sweet as honey, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Give us the website, social medias, all that good stuff, and we're going to play your song. WillRoads.band. We're doing that. I think that's our website. Uh, you, anywhere you put your put the Will Rhodes Band in the uh, in the internet, you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get our YouTube. You can, we're on Apple Music. We're on all the streaming platforms. We got a new video out there with Bleed. But if you put us in there, we're we're the first thing that pops up, and uh, we appreciate the love and support. And as we say these days. Please follow us on Instagram. <laughs> so, new record next week. Yep. Video out there right now. Yep. And what else are we looking for? Anything else? Um, well, we, you know, we've got uh, we've got some big news coming up. On uh, we're going to be going on tour, and um, so uh, we're not really allowed to divulge that gotcha. just yet. Right. But we're real, 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 real excited. And awesome. always working on new material. Always. All right. Again, that's Will Rhodes dot band, yep. or just put in Will Rhodes band in the Google thing. So let's check out the song. It's called On the Men. This is Will Rhodes band. Catch him at 3 p.m. on the main stage here at Uvalde Honey Festival. Uh, check out more details at UvaldeHoneyFest.org and we're UvaldeRadio.net live at Uvalde Cabinetry. Thank you guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you.